Five New Guns That Are Better Than Glocks, 2024 Update. Before I start, I am just going to say a little disclaimer. Making this video doesn't mean that Glock pistols suck. Those who say that simply don't know what they are saying about. Until now, Glock guns remain a go-to choice for many shooters, and they are actually great picks for a number of uses or occasions. Glock guns have been around for so long that many are obsessed with overthrowing them on their throne, and I think that's the driving reason that compels many shooters to look for alternatives. Nonetheless, Glock guns are spectacular, especially when we are talking about reliability. With that being said, I am Ted from Line 45. In this video, I compiled a list of handguns that can outperform Glock guns in terms of their features, construction, and overall performance. Before we get underway, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it is a chore, but these simple clicks help my channel immensely. Now let's return to the video. CZ Shadow 2 Compact If you want an alternative to your compact Glock pistols, the Shadow 2 Compact is something that you should pick right away. Needless to say, this concealed carry firearm has all the merits to sideline the likes of Glock 19 and Glock 43X. The CZ Shadow 2 Compact was released in 2023 and is a smaller derivative of the highly venerable competition-grade Shadow 2 pistol. It offers 15 plus 1 rounds of 9mm and is equipped with a 4-inch barrel length. Its overall length is 7.5 inches, while its height and width are 5.4 inches and 1.4 inches, respectively. This scaled-down variant of the Shadow 2 doesn't have a polymer frame. Instead, its frame is made from forged 7,075 aluminum, making it extra tough but lightweight. I think that it also offers better reliability than Glock pistols, given that its blueprint is meant for competition. It inherited the shootability, handling, accuracy, and ergonomics of its big brother, so it's definitely a catch. Many people dislike the stock trigger of Glock pistols. Even the Gen 5 variants still have the same issue. On the other hand, the trigger of the Shadow 2 Compact requires no replacement. It is smooth and breaks cleanly, both on its single action and double action. I also agree that its stock sights are better than Glock stock sights. The high visibility fiber optic and adjustable rear sights of the Shadow 2 Compact require no upgrade. It has a slide cut for optics too, and a rail where you can attach your desired accessories. The only aspect where Glock has the upper hand is the price. It's more than twice as expensive as your standard CCW Glock guns, but definitely it can outperform your favorite Glock. Taurus GX4XL Toro The Taurus GX4XL is often compared to the Glock 43X in terms of size, capacity, and performance. Needless to say, the Glock 43X is an excellent EDC gun, and I have been carrying one for many years. On the other hand, the GX4 can become a great alternative to the Glock 43X for a number of reasons. It offers the same reliability as any Glock pistol, and it has a straightforward construction, given its affordable production cost. It also has similar capacities. Depending on the magazine, you can get 10 to 13 rounds of 9mm in the Taurus GX4 XL. The Taurus GX4 XL qualifies as a micro-compact pistol despite it being longer than the original GX4. It has an extra inch on its slide for added accuracy, while its 3.7 1-inch stainless steel barrel proved its reliability and stability. The Toro on its name stands for Taurus Optic Ready Option Slide. Unlike most of its counterparts, it doesn't use any plate to fit different carry-oriented optics, such as the Sightmark, Holosun, and Trijicon. If you already have a holster for your Glock 43X or Glock 48, you don't really need to buy a new one for this pistol. Its stock trigger is surprisingly good as well. While both guns are almost priced the same, the GX4XL arguably offers a better trigger quality than its Glock rival. It is surprisingly smooth and gets me going all day in the range. Springfield Echelon If you want an excellent alternative to your Glock 17 but don't want to spend big, I recommend to you the Springfield Echelon. It boasts a similar or better degree of reliability than the G17, but comes with modernized innovations that the legendary Glock doesn't have. One aspect where the Echelon shines is its modularity. We all know that Glock guns are modular, but this one takes that concept to a whole new level. Specifically, the Echelon comes with an internal chassis system, which SA refers to as the Central Operating Group. This system, unlike other internal chassis, is self-contained, 
which allows shooters to swap its grip module minus the use of any tools. As I mentioned in my previous videos, the Echelon is being shipped with a medium-sized grip, so if you have small or large hands, you need to purchase those grips separately. Anyway, this feature is what makes the Echelon an excellent choice if you want a versatile gun. If you want it to become a full-size gun, you can do so. If you want to turn it into a concealed carry weapon, by all means do it. Notably, it's also available in different capacities. It is offered in 10 plus 1 rounds for restricted states, but it is also available in 17 plus 1 and 20 plus 1 round mags. By the way, this gun has a length of 8 inches, while its barrel extends at 4.5 inches. It stands at 5.5 inches and tips the scale at 1.49 pounds. It also offers better sights than your conventional Glocks. The Tactical Rack U-Dot rear and luminescent front sights make the gun shootable in any condition. It also accepts over 30 red dots with its variable interface system. FN509CC Edge Disregarding the price, the 509cc Edge is definitely a better choice than any Glock pistol of its size. Heck, I would trade this gun for three of my Glock 19 Gen 5 in a heartbeat if someone offered me one. But of course, no one would do that. The price will tell you why. An FN 509 CC Edge is over a thousand bucks, while your standard Glock 19 or Glock 17 are priced around $500 to $600. From the looks alone, this FN 509 CC Edge can easily outgun Glock pistols. This one is a handsome duty and works like a charm. It showcases a quality that no other Glock offers, and that is innovation. Glock guns are good, but honestly, they don't innovate that much. On the flip side, the FN 509 CC Edge embodies forward thinking engineering. A proof of this is its auto indexing compensator. Unlike other guns with integral compensators, the compensator on the CC Edge has two ports that throw the gas at different angles instead of just straight up. Such a design ensures that the front sight is free from debris. Of course, this compensator keeps the gun free from excessive recoil and muzzle flip. The ergonomics of the CC Edge are also better than those of Glock pistols. The grip frame has similarities to the predecessors of the CC Edge, especially in terms of styling and texturing. However, the 509 CC Edge has a shortened grip since it was designed for concealed carry purposes. It also has interchangeable back straps for accommodating different hand fits. At the same time, the undercut on its trigger guard guarantees that this gun will sit low on your hands. That alone enhances the controllability of this pistol. Needless to say, it has better sights and triggers than your favorite Glock. Its flat face trigger, in particular, is really smooth but ain't squishy. Meanwhile, its slide cut is unique in the sense that it allows for a low profile placement of red dots. SIG P365 X Macro Comp. The P365 X Macro Comp is one of the latest models under the P365 lineup. It directly competes with the Glock 19 and has all the bells and whistles to outperform the CCW Glock icon any time of the day. Of course, comparing the X Macro Comp and the Glock 19 is a bit unfair. After all, the presence of the compensator pretty much seals the deal for the X Macro Comp. Hence, you are free to integrate any compensator into the Glock 19 pistol if you want to compare these two guns. Both of these guns shoot flatly and they have excellent recoil management but the integral compensator of the X Macro Comp simply functions better, in my opinion, in mitigating the recoil of the pistol. Without its track record, I can even say that the X Macro Comp is a little bit superior to Glock when it comes to reliability. Furthermore, the capacity of the P365 X Macro Comp is higher than the Glock 19, despite the two having almost similar heights. The X Macro Comp offers 17 plus one rounds of 9mm, while the Glock 19 features a 15 plus one capacity. Size for size, it's pretty clear that the Glock 19 is much bigger than the P365X Macro. Hence, for concealed carry purposes, the P365X Macro takes the cake. Ergonomics is also one of the strong points of the P365X Macro. If you don't use an extended backstrap to the Glock 19, you'll experience lots of slide bites. Meanwhile, the grip of X Macro is more user friendly. I like how accommodating its beaver tail is, and its trigger is quite accessible. In terms of accuracy, Glock 19 has the upper hand, thanks to its longer barrel and slide. However, the difference isn't that significant. 
And if you take all the strong points of the P365X macro comp, I'm confident that it is a better choice for concealed carry purposes. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe. Care.